Good morning, my friends. Now, if you have been practicing ego management for any amount of time, then you know that this is a lifelong process. And I was thinking of ego management in terms of a bag of tricks that the ego uses in ever more sneaky ways to keep you feeling dissatisfied with your creative life. So I want to talk about the timeline today because oh, it is, it is the wiliest, maybe not the wiliest, it's the most common, I would say, one of the most co common of the ego's bag of tricks. And it's used in conjunction with comparison gaming, right? Because if you are talking about how, thinking about how long it's taking you to complete a project, you might be looking at your, say, your writing partner, and they can draft a novel in nine months, say, and you've never been able to draft a novel in nine months. And, th and then you problematize that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's that sort of thing. I was on a call this past week with a friend who was saying that they felt that it, was, it had taken a long time for them to find a literary agent. And there were several of us on the call, so we said, well, how long did it take you? And they said it took X number of months. And I'm back, sorry. And so we said, actually, I don't think that's a long period of time, X number of months. Um, I don't need a consensus here, so I'm not gonna tell you how many number of months it was. Um, and you know, this, it was helpful for this person to hear this because all of these judgments are, they're ultimately arbitrary, but they're based on what we're seeing about the people around us, like what they're doing, what they're receiving, the recognition that they're receiving and how long it's taking to, to how long it's taking for them to receive their recognition. So I find that it helps to take a, to have a timey-wimey kind of, uh, if you're a Doctor Who fan, a uh, timey-wimey approach to your creative life and n not n in a way, so timey-wimey in the sense that <clears throat> you're not getting hung up on how long things are taking. So to give you uh, an example from my life, I was on another call, I so many, having so many good Zoom calls with wonderful writer friends, and it, it occurred to me that, because I've been saying, I turned 40 uh, a few months ago, and actually that was five months ago, um, and so it occurred to me as I was turning 40, I was like, oh, I've been at this for now over half my life, and that was a, that was a really empowering realization for me to have. And then, just recently on this call with my friend, it occurred to me that 20 years is not a very long time in terms of building a career. Because when you think about how long it takes to conceive of an idea, to exit, to gather all the material, all the, all the inspiration, all the research that, that you need, actually draft the thing, revise the thing, and then when you find a publisher for it, then it's another couple of years probably before the book comes out. And then you're meant to do some, you know, promotional work, which is going to siphon energy away from the project that you were hoping to start next. And so when you look at it that way, how long it takes to work on just one project and how many projects that you will complete over the course of your career. 20 years is not a very long time. And I kind of blew my own mind with that one. So I hope this helps. I hope that you are able to next time, the next time that you see yourself or notice, catch yourself thinking, this should have happened by now. I admit that is this, I have had that thought. Um, it can be a poisonous thought if you don't address and refute it. So surrender the timeline. That is uh, my ego bag of tricks, tip number one. 
I'm sure there will be more. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer in a future Friday morning episode, please leave a comment below or you can DM me or you can leave a comment or question or suggestion anonymously using a form that I link to on my website over at cometparty.com. So if you go to, you know, if you just go to cometparty.com, click about, you'll find the link to the Comet Party Wish Jar and you can leave an anonymous comment. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.